Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Ruckman here at the CME Group Morning Market Stir for Tuesday, October the 4th. Stock slumped yesterday, down about a quarter percent. Quiet session, consolidation, very tight ranges, even though stocks never saw the light of day. Looking at the uh, Dow futures, I'm sorry, the Dow cash market had a 75 point range, the S&P about a nine point range, and the Nasdaq 25 points from high to low. So not much happening, but negative all day after that Friday flourish. Looking at other markets, the big mover was crude oil again. $49 a barrel is where it touched yesterday, ended up finishing at 48.80, up 50 cents, so the highest level here in a couple of months. Now we did see the dollar index move up another 20 ticks at 95.60, and the euro currency come back down to near that 112 level, so that's not giving the crude market any help. It's actually hurting gold a little bit. Gold yesterday was down $4 at 13.13. So after the action yesterday in stocks were sideways. Where do things stand here on this Tuesday morning? Well, right now we're steady to a bit higher. The E-mini S&P is up two and a half right now. NASDAQ futures up 10. Now let's remember, we're only about 20 points away from the all-time forever highs in that NASDAQ, and the Dow futures are up 20. Uh, looking at the markets, the big move of the day is the dollar. The dollar pushing up to 96 once again. We've talked about that as a resistance top to keep an eye on and we've seen the euro currency come down to 112. So that's put some pressure on gold. Gold's down to the lowest level that we've seen in many, many months, actually since the Brexit bounce. So gold right now is at 12.94, down $17. So down one to one and a half percent, getting hit hard on the day. Crude oil steady, even with that dollar strength, showing some internal power there. And uh, looking at, like we said, here at these markets, the focus remains on that dollar to see if it's gonna to continue to strengthen and in the long run hurt commodities. So to wrap up this current action, as we come to the cash stock market open, the S&P right now is up two, the Nasdaq's up nine, and the Dow futures are up 20. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.